Hi, and welcome to another presentation of Natasha's Journey of Visions and Prophecies. I'm in the process of trying out different formats to present the material from my Visions and Prophecies, and hopefully I'll hit upon the one that works. And thank you for your patience through this trial and error process that I'm going through. Today it's going to be simple. It's all about the lesson that I learned called discernment. The dichotomy is real and every step of your journey requires a decision. Will it be love or hate? Peace or war? Or do you prefer to bury your head in the sand and ignore the world around you? Would you rather believe the comforting lies or the unpleasant truths? The following was the vision I had about the lesson of discernment. Change is coming. Be flexible and open-minded. Nothing will be as it seems. Negative will be positive. Love will be hate. Good will be bad. Be discerning and focused on love, not to be persuaded to believe the dichotomy. And more words. In the last few weeks, you have undergone a tremendous test to allow your discernment to develop. What appears white is black and the other dichotomies you were given. You have resisted the ploy to succumb. All is well. Do believe that. And these words are the sweet offering of hope that my grandma Eva gave me. It has been so long, dear one, since we have communicated. Your path is unfolding beautifully and your patience will be amply rewarded both with happiness and abundance. In the last few weeks you have undergone a tremendous test to allow your discernment to develop. What appears white as black and the other dichotomies you were given. Now your direction has turned to the primary task in your mission, serving the higher purpose of spreading truths about division and healing the separation of races. Yes, the task is great, but your small part is equally great. You have been chosen because of your past lives and the wisdom you received, which is directly from Source. Your words will be as powerful as the light streaking across the lobby last night. That was your sign, and now that you see the light, and you are in the light, you are learning to trust your intuition, knowing it is the universal truth you speak. Trust is still your focus. We will continue to validate so you can move forward into this new venture. Ken and Randy's and the other leaders and others that you have yet to meet will be instrumental in uncovering the truths that you speak. I say that literally as well as figuratively. You must now go out into the field to continue your investigations and to receive enlightenment to propel you for onward. The angel guides will lead you to the right places and people. Trust your inner voice. It speaks the truth. When you go to the mounds, take your notes and look for the clues to the underground encampment. Other pyramids will show themselves to you too. Your wisdom will allow you to see the clues that will present themselves to you and to others who are in the inner circle of light. Your sense of adventure and curiosity is just what you will need during this phase. Believe your revelations because they are key to the much bigger picture that will be revealed in its own time. You will move soon into that place of peace in your mind as your confidence grows and your environment changes to serene beauty. It will be your sanctuary protecting you from further chaos. 
the chaos was critical for you to learn to isolate yourself from it, although it was in your midst. Of course, patience was also your lesson. Be comforted that we will alternate serenity with chaos in just the right amounts to stimulate and refresh your mind, body, and spirit. You still must take the time to rejuvenate outdoors. As the pace picks up, you will know when to take breaks to calm. Soaking baths, more regular meditation, and walks in nature are all essential to allow the mission before you to be accomplished. Six months more before the next phase is in place. You are flowing nicely now in the stream toward your highest purpose. It is integral in important ways to, to the grand scheme of this important time in Earth's history. Michael's mission to construct the grid will facilitate the continuation. The force field will come next. Don't worry because many others have been given the same messages around the world as you were given. It is all part of the plan. It is perfect. Remember, light comes from love. The Divine Mother will continue to shower you with love, and Lady Nada will give you strength of mind in the same light of love. Your guardian angels will protect you. I along with other guides, will show you the way. Begin to rely more on the inner voice. Yes, I will continue to speak to you through writing. I too enjoy this. Yes, I will present myself along the way. Look for more roses and signs of black and white. It is that balance that allows you to consciously see the importance of polarity, which will enhance your discernment. My love envelops you, Eva. I think that last paragraph says it all. The hope represented by the rainbow overshadows the destructive energy of the lava flow in this picture from the Big Island of Hawaii. Be the power of love that overcomes all adversity. Unite, love, peace. Thank you for joining me today, and I do hope you can, each one of you can apply these words to your own lives and heed the warnings and the encouragements as if they were meant for you, because they were. God bless you on this day of our trials and keep you safe from harm's way. I am Natasha.